this was a very different <laughs> weekend. I said, okay, I'm going to settle down. I'm going to do, the, you know, unbend the wire because when the wire comes, it's in a circle, of course, and it's got a little twisty, and it's a little twisty to keep it together. So, of course, that takes some time, like all day Saturday, or Friday night, to just patiently sit and bend it slowly, 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 because I don't need a piece of wire that's in a circle, and you unbend it, and it goes like this, so it looks like a handlebar mustache. Don't want that either, so I'm threading and threading and threading through, of course, another pair of pliers <laughs> for straightening wire. Yeah, so now it's pretty much just the ends that are bent, and I'll work that out. And I say that just, just because it was my goal to get that uh, done this weekend. Um, but that's okay, I'm gonna take my time, do it right. No, no hurry. Um, so yeah, today I'm gonna go home. My, I dip my pliers in tool magic and thank you for bringing that over, by the way. Because um, when I, I went dink, and I started, I started just to bend the end. Because generally, I find if if I'm if this doesn't work for you, then hey, you can you can feel free to write that. When you have wires in a circle, and if I just take the tip and bend it, it's a little bit easier to straighten that last what two inches. Yeah, two. In three sixteenth inches <laughs> of, of you at the end because of course those are the hardest parts to bend for me so I left that for last anyway um, yeah, I dipped my tools because I had a scratch I did another practice run of course and thank God wires cheap because <laughs> yeah I have like ten forms of bracelets now and you know I don't waste anything so I'm turning those scraps into earring hooks yeah, oh, I didn't put any earrings on today. Shame on me. Um, so, yeah, it was really odd. I started to do something, and that didn't work. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to just, you know, chill and do something else. And that didn't work. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to watch a movie. Finally turned the TV on around 9 o'clock. And I don't know, something. I just tend to just leave it on HBO the whole weekend if I watch TV, but I'm hopscotching around because I I know these, if I watch one movie, that's going to put me in a different type of mood, and I didn't want to be in that mood. Anyway, so, you know, I watch my Matrix because that always puts me in a good mood, a good spiritual mind frame. Um, so, wait a minute, get your shoes fixed. Anyway, I, uh, finished watching that and then I just left it on HBO and it's so strange to uh, on be on uh, channel one it's not channel one on your TV it's channel one as in a station like BET or CBS or whatever it's channel one okay and something not Morris Chestnut oh um, Okay, well, forget that one. The other one that I looked at was uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. and the, the white lady who portrayed Queen Elizabeth. And they were killers. And of course, I come in after it already started. So anyway, I couldn't really get the full gist of it because if you missed the first two minutes, it's pretty much over, right? <laughs> but anyway, it, it was very interesting that he, he loved her so, 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 so much. I'm not going to tell you the ending because if you know the movie, well, you can put the name of the movie down there because I want to see who's going to be on again. Um, anyway, they couldn't kill this one girl. They went in to kill a family. And this one girl, oh, chick with the thick lips, I can't think of her name. Anyway, oh, she was pregnant and she's getting up off the bed going, no, no. And so the lady could see her full belly and uh, the white lady who played the queen of England. And then Cooper Gooding Jr. comes in after her, come on, just kill her. <laughs> and she's like, I can't. <laughs> and so she's, you know, like stroking the lady. She, sorry, so she laid her down and she was stroking her face trying to get her to calm down because when she came in with the gun to shoot her, she stood up and her water broke. <laughs> which was a pretty, a pretty interesting sight since I've seen, you know, I have four sisters and four sisters-in-laws. Well, I have several sisters-in-laws. 
and their water never looked like, you know, you turned on a hose and it, no, no, not in my experience. I understand that might happen, but it just looks so weird on TV. Anyway, so Cuba Gooding Jr. really loves the older white lady that portrayed the queen, right? So for some reason, whatever, I see, because, yeah, I was, I was, uh, I forgot who I was talking to. Anyway, so I didn't really get a good understanding. So they take this girl and the baby to go live with them. And I think it's because the lady who portrayed the Queen of England that's in this movie, <laughs> I don't know her name, sorry, uh, was dying. So what's the name of that movie? I know you, I know you know it. She was dying. And she and Cuba Gooding Jr. really loved each other. And, and it was a really nice, mushy movie, movie. But then, of course, that put me in a mushy scientist, scientist type of mind. And I'm like, hmm, now why did... I'm not going to give away the end. Um, yeah, anyway, so then I watched this other movie with uh, Kojo, Boris Kojo, and anyway, that was, ugh, that was a really interesting movie too, Boris Kojo is the football star or something star, I forgot what the beginning said, so he got his friend to take the rat murder, murder rat for him, so the best friend went to... And I'm still thinking on that. Okay, so the best friend is 12 years later. The best friend comes out of jail and lives with Kojo and his beautiful wife. And they're madly, madly in love. But because their daughter died, he's all clamming up now. And yeah. So I'm tripping because the friend comes home, comes to Kojo's home out of prison, jail, whatever. Stays with him. He's, you know, looking through Kojo's box of letters that Kojo told him, yeah, man, I read every one of your letters, but he didn't read them, didn't even open them, you know? So now dude is tripping as he's looking at this box of uh, letters unopened. So the maid comes in, he kills the maid. What the hell he kill the maid for? Just because you were in a bad mood that your friend didn't read your letters? I mean, come on, you don't go around killing people. Sorry. See, that's why I don't watch movies like that. That's why I don't watch the news. Because once I watch something, I tend to stay there for, oh, well, that happened yesterday. So there you go. <laughs> you know? And this is why I, it's like going into the thrift store. In some thrift stores, I always have to ask my, my teachers and guides, can I go in that thrift store? I get sick. I get, well, yeah for lack of a better word. Um, and it just makes me feel depressed and yeah. So I have to ask, can I go into that store? Now even the malls as I get older. I, I don't I don't go to the mall. I yeah, anyway, so that's why I, t I tend to just watch, you know, romance movies. <laughs> I will watch, even if it's scary, I will watch a real life anything. Okay, because to me, I can relate to that better. But getting your best friend out of prison and he comes home, he's mad you didn't read his letters and he kills the maid is just, mm, just can't wrap my mind around that. Yeah, anyway, so that's why I just, you know, watch positive movies. And I know that sounds kind of childish in a lot of ways, but hey. I live better that way, <laughs> not thinking, not thinking about coulda, shoulda, woulda. Anyway, so as I was telling people yesterday, and if you were in my um, pal talk room yesterday, yeah, you got just keep it positive. Just keep it positive. I don't want to hear shit. I don't want to hear your shit. I don't want to talk about food. I don't want to talk about your daughter's baby. I don't want none of that stuff in my room. I got to make a separate video so they can see a quick two-minute video. Raise your hand. Wait. Um, and then I will tell you, Tasha, go ahead and ask your one specific question. If you have a problem thinking of a specific question, don't ask nothing because I take energy and time away from everybody else with you saying, well, what's going to happen in my love life? Nothing. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Why should you do that? Because it wasn't a specific question. Tasha, do you see a man or a woman coming into my life anytime soon? And then you go back and you, you may, if you were nice then, you may go back and raise your hand again. Are you able to tell me how I will meet this person? Whatever. Do not 
Do not. Yeah, you know who you are. Bump your head coming up in my room just because I say, because I don't always know what you are. I don't always get the vibe. I get the vibe for some people if they're male or female, but I don't get the vibe for everybody if they're male or female. So when I say you might meet a man or woman, I don't, I don't swing like that. You little, hmm, I didn't ask you what you swung like. I am giving you a message from me. I give directly. I don't um, all ah, and candy coat it and, and all that stuff like other people do. I tell you exactly what they tell me or exactly what I see in my head, okay? I don't need that shit. Don't give me your shit. Just sit and listen. Take whatever you you understand and just fly with that stuff you don't understand just let it marinate it'll come to you you know anyway come to find out he or she had a twin that's what it was in, yeah you had to be there anyway you know think people think I don't I didn't ask you for your birthday your name you know I didn't act no don't give out any extra information okay and I'll eat those of you that are in a chat room or whatever and somebody's giving readings shut up I don't need to see, and then I gotta fight to find the person's name and all that stuff. Shut up. And least of all, don't be doing readings in my room. Go get your own room. And I'm not saying that I'm trying to hog all the readings, but I'm trying to find my writing and then hers and hers. And there was like, you know, 30 people in the room, which is really cool, by the way. But everybody's talking, and I'm trying to see if you, one person, ever answered me. And then for a minute, I would take it into the side, and then that got more confusing. For, well, for mostly for other people because they're like, are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Just raise your hand. Is your hand raised? And you shut up. Yeah. You know? And then you go on and on and on and on. People, when somebody gives you a reading, shut up. Shut up. Now, I understand you want to know what you need to know, and I answered that. Shut up. You don't go on and on and on and on. But I put, but I put this there and, there and it's still, and I still have the same problem. Shut up. Be still. Go do whatever you think you need to do then. Shut up. Get out of the room. Oh, it's so irritating. You know, 30 minutes later, you still talking about the broke sink in the kitchen. No. Go start your own chat room and talk about that stuff. And don't get me wrong, as long as it's positive and, you know, spiritual, have at it. We'll talk about that for 10 hours. I don't care. But you talking about your daughter that had a cold last week and for 35 minutes, that's a bit much. Or you can't get a man because you're this, 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 and this, and you feel this, 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 and this, and da 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 whoop da whoop da whoop Shut up. Yeah, I gotta make a different video. Anyway, so I'm on a better schedule today when I go home. My wires should be sealed in their little sealant. I'll get to rolling and flipping and because <laughs> uh, last time I had to put two coats on the wire. Sorry, I try to talk in sections. Sorry about that. Anywho, go have a lovely day. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna watch a nice, beautiful, lovely, glorious, I don't know, romantic video, funny video. Oh, oh I know, I watched Timia. <laughs> My uh, quieter. Uh, Howard, he, he's so wonderful. I really love him. Uh, yeah, so hey, go have a good day. I'll probably be back to do more babbling because I'm in a really odd mood today. I haven't felt this way in a, in a minute, you know? Anyway, I'll be back. Go love yourself. <laughs> Bye.